the race for the Senate President of the Tenth National Assembly has toughened as the outgoing Senate President Ahmad Lawa has commenced a plot to retain his position. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny, honestly. Nigerian News recalls that Lawan ran for the presidential tickets of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC within the presidential elect Ashiwaju, Tinumbu, and lost. He would later run for Senate after a hard fought legal battle to get the senatorial ticket. According to Vanguard, Lawan has decided to disrupt the system to relaunch himself for the nation's number three seat. With his entry, the Senate now has three groups of six lawmakers in pairs to slug it out. The two other groups outside Lawa are the Senator Akpabio and Jibril Barao tickets and Senators Oji Uzokalu and Abdulaziz Yari ticket. Hey! A reliable source from the National Assembly has disclosed that the Senator representing Yobe North has already set up a camp for the race. The source said that Lawan is pairing up with Senator Osita Isunayo Isunaso from Imo West Senatorial Zone of Imo State to actualize his ambition and equally working with other senators and stakeholders. Some of the stakeholders included Senator Ifa Uba from Anambra State, Senator Sani Musa from Niger State, Governor Hope Uzodima of Imo State, and Chief Ebeka of Four. The stakeholders were reportedly locked up in a nocturnal meeting that ended early Monday morning, where an appreciable milestone on the deed was reached. The source pointed out that Lawa's ambition drove him to the Nambi Azikiwe International Airport on Saturday to welcome the president elect Ashiwaju Bala Tinubu on his return to the country. The source said, I can tell you for a fact that the Senate president is running. He has chosen to pair up with Senator Osita Isu Nassau from Imo State to realize his ambition. Senator Ifa Yoba, Senator Sani Musa, Governor Hobu Zodima of Imo State and Chief Emeka of four are all in his camp to help him actualize the objective. However, it was learned that Lawan can barely gather 15, 15 signatures to square up with Akwabio Barao ticket, which has about 39 members despite his endorsement by the APC. <laughs> they, they want to scatter everything. So he's going to be a Muslim person. So he does not even care. Of course, that's exactly what he wants. And I think that is what he, that is what he meant. And that is exactly what they have turned into. This issue of a Muslim Muslim tickets now, they are, he's, going to, he's going to ruin them. Because now everybody say we can do whatever we like. After all, you got it. After all, this and that. If Sinubu will not be telling us that he wants a Christian, whatever, he will say, a bell, go and sit down. So, but that is even another thing. So, this guy feels that uh, Nigerians will even allow him to come back again with the way Amana himself and Buhari destroyed this night assembly when they were like, oh, Saraki was their stumbling, uh, uh, stumbling block. It was an hindrance to them, but see what they have done now. It's a greedy man. It's a killer disease. Or greed is a killer disease. Lawan is an idiot. Complete one. Lawan is not idiot. His party is idiot by allowing illegitimate to continue. Lawan that did not even contest for Senate, uh, Senate whatever. The Supreme Court dashed him the seats. What is he looking for? Robert Stamp, Senate President. You should go and sit down. The beginning of the end of National Assembly becoming sectional assembly. We are waiting for season two of this uh, comedy of errors. So he wants us to have a president Muslim, VP Muslim, Senate President Muslim, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court Muslim, Speaker National Assembly Muslim. Nagri go key all of them. What do you expect before? <laughs> Judiciary Senator Ahmed Lawa, aka Supreme Court Senator. The evil you brought to Nigeria never do you. You want to do more. No wonder they said that 18 people from a uh, Buhari's cabinet want to continue with their lobbying to continue with a uh, Tinubu's uh, government. The evil you brought is not even enough for him. Lawan again. Naso. Naso. He is a daydreamer. Who would allow him to continue with the damages he has already done to this country? He should change his name to 
Ahmed greed Lawa. Lawa is very greedy. You will never succeed. This is what you get when you deliberately and wickedly decide to meet to meet miss injustice against to meet injustice against people. They are all confessionists. What is he looking for? Eh? To encourage more death, surely he will end up a bank venture. Nigeria is indeed a joke. Lawa will be roundly defeated. When Tinubu was trying to distribute the principal offices officers office into the six region, many people are shouting that he should not intervene, that he should allow the house to choose their leaders by themselves. That is the result. <laughs> is he supposed to choose for them? He's not supposed to choose for them, huh? Because uh, all of them don't know what they are doing. That is why irregularities and abnormalities have become the order of the day. Free oil money from South is sweet. Another rubber stamp is coming again. We don't even blame Lawa, but blame the stupid legal system operating in Nigeria. I pity the Northern youth and the Southwest youth. <laughs> they are used to suffering, so we don't even pity them. This rubber stamp senate has overrated himself. The idiot wants to return again. The worst ever senate president in Nigeria. Animal in human skin. Greedy man. Lawa is the biggest. <laughs> oh my god. It's all about Muslim leadership of Nigeria. From number four. One to number three to number. From number one to number four. All of them. Lawa has the senate president is the worst thing that. As happened to Nigeria, there's nothing like a check and balance, push and start setting to. Hmm. Can you imagine them? To me, it is a joke taking too far. It will be disgrace for sure. Abalawa, why can't uh, you thank God for the opportunity granted? Presently, you you are machina case. If you think lit lit uh, litigation date is over at the tribunal, you can be taken to court of law. I beg you, all of them, which one better pass?